Happy International Women's Day. We're here today to do another tutorial. Today is about all about tulips. Do you know there's 3,000 registered varieties of tulips? Right here we have a lot of Dutch names, and this is all. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is I got a straight kind of six inch cylinder. Everyone has one of these at their home, I'm sure. And then I just got some leaves to wrap inside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start just wrapping the leaves. Okay, I've wrapped my leaves into my cylinder leaves. I have about here about five bunches of tulips, all different varieties, and 10 stem bunches. Okay, we have all our tulips out, about 50 stems. I know it sounds like a lot, but you'll be surprised once we get into the vessel. But we have to talk about what kind of water you're gonna do. We're gonna do room temperature water. Okay, the next step is you wanna take your tulips and see all these leaves at the bottom? You wanna get those off because this in the water causes a lot of bacteria. So just start stripping off all these bottom petals, off your leaves, off your, your stem. Our leaves are now stripped. You'll see all of them perfectly placed in front of me. Then what I start doing is taking a couple stems of each color, and I try to put the heads close to one another and twist my arm. As you can see, I have all the necks together and all the blossoms on top. Look how gorgeous that is. And as you notice, I use a ton of different variety of color and texture. Now the fun begins. We are now gonna try to measure how the distance between this and the flower. Now I always tell folks, you know my saying, cut long, because then you always can cut short. You can't go short to long. So we're gonna start cutting. As you can see, I cut all my stems, so it's pretty short. You see all the leaves, I might take a few more leaves off, and now I just hold my two hands like this and I draw in. So you wanna just play with it a little bit just to get it nice. Okay, we have all our tulips in our beautiful vessel here, and I, as you can see, I dispersed a lot of the color and all the varieties and took off just a few more of the foliage that was sticking out. Okay, you can see I've got all my tulips in here. And as you can see, I dispersed the color around so there's not just one color on one side. Took off a little bit more of the foliage and voila, happy spring.